I was cruising on the bike in, uh, into Delft to go check out the spoonbill colony when off to the right I noticed, hey, spoonbills, obviously adults, and they're foraging. I was wondering what they were catching. I was trying to see, but I didn't notice until I got back home. They're eating crayfish. Look at that. Which is good because crayfish are not indigenous to the Netherlands and they kind of want to get rid of them, so spoonbills are doing a good job helping. Beautiful, isn't it? They're very busy. Adult spoonbills have to eat most of their waking day. A lot of this might have to do with their fishing technique, which is pretty much just going around and waiting till they bump into something and trying to grab it. These are Eurasian spoonbills, and they mostly eat small minnows and killfish, but also like you saw crayfish, crab, shrimp, but also aquatic insects, beetles, slugs, pretty much anything your beak comes across that they can swallow. Great blue heron. Yeah, he'll see the spoonbills as competitors. I've seen the herons go after other egrets and other herons uh, quite often. But this spoonbill doesn't look very concerned nor interested. Okay, now it's time to go further biking, about four or five minutes further towards Delft, and we come to the Spoonbill colony. It's a small colony. There's about seven or eight bigger colonies in the Netherlands. There's about 30,000 of these birds in, in Europe alone. Not that many. They were on the red danger list, endangered list for quite some time. Here we see the young Spoonbills. You can tell that because their beaks won't be as black. Sometimes they'll have black wingtips. They're a little bit older. And yeah, you see they try to flop around and they're learning how to fly. You see their beaks are a different color. I think you see one adult here. They're all falling on the adult looking for handouts, of course. Look at all that activity. This colony is right behind the Kea in Delft. Strange location, but it's kind of maybe protected from the wind on one hand, and they're high enough in the trees to get away from any potential predators, and there's tons of places to fish for them around here. Here we see a juvenile bird looking for some food from his mother or father. See, they're practicing the you know the fly with their wings there. Here we see some even younger birds. The number one cause of death for the young birds is starvation, and a lot of them will starve. They have to eat a lot, and the parents feed them by regurgitation.
from what I understand, these birds have been coming here and have a colony here for years. They, of course, well, maybe you don't know, but in the winter they spend that uh, their time in Africa. And they come back every year up north to Spain, France, and the Netherlands, and some in uh, Great Britain as well. Also in Ukraine, there's quite a large uh, population. This is very interesting. You see the, the adult bird to the right and the, you know, the young bird comes up to the left and you see it's grabbing the food out of the mother or father's well, throat basically. You see the beak goes right down the throat. Pretty amazing. Okay, now we're going to see some just-born spoonbills, some nestlings. Well, not really just-born, but quite young. You can see, look at that. The head's just bobbing around. Beautiful. I've seen these spoonbills all the way over in Pinecker, well, just one city over, but they fly pretty far, obviously, to, uh, to forage and to eat. I've seen three at one time, right in the neighborhood, a lot of times just one or two, but uh, they definitely cruise around to get their daily uh, fill. Spoonbills on the way back, I saw some beautiful storks. Stork. I always love these birds. Two storks. All with the lovely backdrop of the church tower, the new church as it's called, in Delft, although it's obviously not so new. Beautiful. 